Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, far more Envoy Stream here. Here we are on the 24th of April 2024, looking at all the six brand new mods that has dropped today. On top of this, there were some updates, for example, Agriculture Land is back on Mod Hub now, after some little modifications and additional work. The Horus Valley by Bartso V3 has had some minor adjustments, no new game save is required there. The Southern Black Forest by Albi. That has an update to wood chip cells now accept spells. Doesn't say whether or not it needs a new game save, but I very much doubt it does. But yeah, apart from that, we're not looking at any new mods, uh, uh, new update mods today, as it's all minor changes, configurations, and that. But without further ado, as always, time slots will be found down below. But yeah, let's get to our brand new mods for today. And we're going to start off with is the manure plate by. Blood is go, 0.52 megabytes of download, two slots for console. And yeah, essentially this is a Polish style manure plate, so yeah, for example, we've got our little cow pen here. When they produce manure, manure will come out of here. I can find this under build mode, under silos. 12 and a half ground to play, so not too bad. Two slots goes down to one. One and a half million capacity. No other options to change colours or that. But as always, if you know me, decent brickwork. Not the best, but not the worst. Good quality brickwork regardless. But yeah, that is the manure plate by Bloody Go. Next, this is the Dirt Farm Workshop by Lexi AGLAC. 38 slots for console, cost 65,900. And yeah, essentially what it is little workshop here so can we open that from the outside nope but you can open it from the inside so realistic obviously light switch is here so yeah little small american based workshop workshop triggers here got another light switch over here open door here and yeah got options for hoop up and down so that's your basketball hoop here but yep, decent quality of work, lovely bit of detailing, and that's why it's 38 slots, so you'll find this under buildings, under tools. You do have some colour options. I'll say that is, the, yep, the typical 20, 21 colours, always forget which one it is. But yep, so, decent amount. So yeah, 65,900 to play, so obviously it's a bit more if it needs terraforming. But yeah, let's go select a random colour. Do we have hot pink? I don't think so, so let's go with a cream. Cream or red. There we go. But yeah, even that, <laughs> that doesn't look too bad. If anything, I prefer the red. But yeah, the fact that you can't open this from the outside is realistic, so decent enough. So yeah, open that up. But yeah, a quality mod here. So that is the Dirt Farm Workshop by Lexi AG LAC. Next, this is the 62 by 60 shed by also Lexi AG LAC. 62 foot long shed. And yeah, once again, no options to open from the outside. So if I go onto the correct side, go through the door just over here. So yeah, decent woodwork. Love the paneling. So open your garage over here. Got little plug sockets on sides. But yeah, open that up. Light switches is just over here. There it is. Turn lights on and off. Yep, yeah, that turns on all of your lights. Also open this third door here, so actually quite decent. Slot count is 21 slots, 21 color options. And this we find under buildings, under sheds. And yeah, depending on what mods you got, it's gonna be one of the first ones, first ones to download. But yeah, so 21 different colour options. Uh so but yeah, good we're working at. Good level of detailing, love the sort of little what was it, the electric timer that on the outside of whatever it is in the States. But yeah, a little decent sitting area outside. Can't move those, unfortunately. 
Oh uh, yeah, we'll love to chuck those about. But yep, another decent mod by Legacy AGLC. This is the 6260 shed. Next. Moving on to our machinery and equipment, we've got the winch attachment by P555 for P555 login. 9.38 megabytes to download, sort count is 6. Uh, yep, essentially this is a winch system that is attachable only to you know, like your cranes and that, or excavator. So I've got the Volvo, of course, to use the winch and that, like so. But yeah, it needs to be attached before you're able to use a winch, but yeah. To use a winch, as always, you do need the Platinum Expansion mod, otherwise it won't work and makes it sort of re redundant. So, anyways, you'll find this under Tools, under Forestry Equipment. Go towards near the end. So yeah, winch system here. Main color options, basic color palette, so... Your main color is obviously the main body, so hot paint there. I got your spool guard, so that always covers your spool guard for your cabling. So yeah, it says maximum weight it can pull is 12 tons. The distance for the cables is 100 meters. And the maximum amount of trees you can connect is five. So pop into our Volvo excavator here. Just gonna lower you down. There we go. Again, I'm not the best when it comes to showcasing these excavator related equipment, but decent enough. So, yep. Yeah. Once it's attached, that's when you get your access to your cables. So, yeah, I don't need to worry about ooh, going too far in that. So, yeah, attach tree. Attach you. Attach you. So yeah, that's 100 meters already. But yeah, so I got a bit exuberant there, but that can be remedy, so just bring that over. L1, R1, left stick, control the winch. So I'm just going to bring the cable in. Like so. And yeah, what you have to do is help to raise your logs. Go back like so. There you go. So grab that cable. Thank you very much, kind sir. And then, yeah, got our extra logs here. So yeah, if you're uh, like on Silver Forest or another forestry map where you're working like the hillsides and that, just able to drag your trees along to your cell points or sawmill, whatever it is. But yeah, the purpose of it is depending on what excavators you're using and all that. Yeah, also you can adjust this like so. So yeah, just tilt it up and down. There we go, like so. And then once you're done with these, L1 and yeah, triangle to detach the locks. Like so, like your typical winch system. But yeah, decent amount. So yeah, that is the Winch attachment by P555 login. Next. So yeah, I'm going to switch things up a little bit. Usually I do things in categories, but the John Deere and Slidish stuff and that, we're going to be looking at last. But yeah, so this is the Vent 300 Vario Gen 3. This is by VR Power Bauer Simon. 15.69 megabytes of download, 26 slots for console. Oh yeah, essentially this is a small tractor, so vehicles and small tractors go towards the end. 107 grand initially. Ah uh, yeah, slot count is 26, goes down to 2. Weighs 5.2 tonnes, top speed 24 miles an hour, 210 litres fuel capacity, a variable CVT transmission, and horsepower ranges from 130 to 142. So for your Vario 310 engine, that's your 113. 311 is your 123 horsepower engine, Vario 312, 133, and lastly your Vario 313, that's your maximum 142 horsepower. Wheel brands is very typical, so got your wides, wides with weights, narrows that with your trailer boards and that twins. Decent enough. But yeah, so 
typical toy configurations, not going to go over everything, but you got all your toy manufacturers as so. Then yep, on to your design car, you got default, and then chrome exhaust, design line, so that changes your hood and exhaust, so you can have a little pick of mix of you want. But unfortunately you can't have the white bonnet with a black exhaust. I'll say unfortunate, depends on what you prefer in that. But yeah, I do like that. Personally, I like the chrome tools and the black bit on the bonnet. Mirrors, default. So you've got some additional wide angles. Wide angles, electric. And back to default. So yeah, that means they're pretty much like adjustable in that. Fenders, you've got small, default, wide, and back to small. So depending on what tires you're going with, if it's more the wide tires than that. Worn triangles, no or yes, or worn signs. So yeah, that's just those little things on the back. Nothing at the front. Beacon layouts, you got none as standard. Left one, right one, both one, left two, right two, both two, or none. Speed sticker, got no or yes. So that's just add this little 40 kilometer per hour or 24 miles an hour top speed. But yeah, 40 kilometers is obviously where it's based because of where it is in Europe by fence. But yeah, front PTO got no or yes. So yeah, an extra 5,700 for that. Not too bad, all things considering. Front attacher, you got your fence, quickie, Hoyer or none. Then obviously with position farming. It does have the Aceria Pro Compact option, yes or no, so just those little things above the mirrors. Main colours, typical with fence, so you've got your various are fence greens, fence black, petrol blue, dark fence green, fence red, and your fence like construction or communal orange. Roof colour, so white, black or petrol blue, so that is your roof. Pedal colours, orange or black. So it's just the pedals in the cab there. There we go, if you get that angle, so orange or black. Red colour, you've got red, black, grey, fence white, which is still like a silvery grey, or beige. No sense plate, and that is it. Got pretty much a box on the version here, and a petrol blue with twin wheels. So yeah, first of all, outside, lights, beacons, Uh, so, in the cab, so, lights, you've got your lights up on display, beacons, obviously brings both of these up. But yeah, so, R1, right stick, left to right, that opens and shuts your door. Then moving outside, L1, R1, left stick, left to right, that opens and closes the roof, so left to open, right with the left stick, to close and also L1 R1 right stick left opens the rear hatch and then right stick right with right stick closes it standard horn decent gap and go for a little small tractor in that but yeah with a souped up engine 27 28 miles an hour so not too bad Actually, it is quite nimble and agile. Yeah, pop into the standard version with like no customizations whatsoever. Yeah, again, as well, very nimble and agile, even with single tires. So, if you're running like a small farming ad, you want something, things like pulling your headers and that, little things like that, this will be something quite useful, especially with the Max engine. Yeah, go with that. So, yep, yeah, there we go. Turn you off. So, yep, yeah, that is the Fent 300 Vario Gen 3 by VR Power Viewer Simon. Next. For our final mods of the day, we've got the John Deere Ad New Holland Size Pack. This is by Zigorsh Kianyalik. I, uh, I know I butchered that absolutely wrong. Or, oh, sorry, it's. Gorschneidek. Yep, Gorschneidek. 
I think that was it. Uh, Slovenian, I think that is, I think. But anyways, 5.37 megabytes of downloads. And yeah, essentially what this is, is a John Deere and New Holland size attachers and that for your forage harvester. So, got your verity in length. Also got your support mills for the appropriate headers. Along that, got a grass collector and that. But yeah, this has, has all the configurations and all the attachers available for the Liquitex, Class, Chrome, Fence, John Deere, New Holland and Russell Smash. So yeah, you'll find all these under Tools and Forage Harvesters. So yeah, go towards the end. So yeah, got your small 4.5 meter John Deere header up to your 9 meter. Same with your New Holland. Then you got your support wheels, which depending on what you're using, different attachers and all that. And again, depending on what size of header you're using, you'll use the support wheel for. Then yep, also your grass collector. This doesn't have the Lacotec option. I don't yeah, no, it doesn't have the Lacotec option. So for slot counts, the New Holland 750 SFI, so this one here, and the John Deere 375 Plus, that is 19 slots, goes down to 1. Then the New Holland 600 and the John Deere 390 and 360 Plus, so those two, they are 18 slots. Then the John Deere 345 and New Holland 450, so the small headers, they are... 15 slots goes down to 1. Then the John Deere 639 Premium, that is 9 slots. And then the Comfort Wheels, they are 3 slots, goes down to 1. So yeah, your header is going to cost between 60 to 120 grand. Support Wheels are 2 grand. Your Grass Collector is 20 and a half grand. Then if I tab over here. So yeah, I've got a couple here on display, so different headers than that. Yeah, pretty much they're similar as the base game version. I love detailing, like the hoses and that, how it all folds. But yeah, I think if I test two of these, so... But yeah, they pretty much work the same as base game. But yeah, so... We'll get the 600 attached. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter what attachment you select. Apart from the local tech, but yeah, so I think this one, the 600, that's got like a new Holland or John Deere attacher option. And all the difference is, it depends on how it sits with the forage harvester, because different forage harvesters has different heights and that, so it depends on how it all looks, that's what it is all about. They may so pipe out. There are you. So yeah, these pretty much does your standard stuff, so I'm going to forage our wheat over here, or wheat and barley, whatever it is. But yeah, so turn it on. And then we are foraging. Yeah, 6 miles an hour, also I forgot to mention. So yeah, decent, real enough speed now. Again, same with the base game stuff. But yeah, personally, I didn't reuse these support wheels and that, just because of how it looks. But like with the crop and that. That's, again, that's just a me thing that is that, personally. Really, something like this, support wheels, is more for transporting, but nothing to say you can't use it like so in the field. And then, yeah, go with our grass pickup over here. So yeah, we'll pick up our grass. Yeah, that's pretty loud, I always forget. We have a decent pickup as well, like this massive swap pile over here. Yeah, I've got a standard pipe as well with the... Well, once again, the losses. But yeah, this is the standard version, and yeah, it's based off of what's in the drone for Jarvis or that. But yeah, decent enough, does a good job. 
But yeah, also with the swell, if you're not sure on that, just look at the horsepower on that. Or even go with like, the combination. So, 3, 4, 5. It'll show you everything. But yeah, so probably not go with combination, go with a like, base on horsepower, so like the 345 is more for your local techs than that. Local techs, whatever it's called. Then you got your 580s and that. But yeah, again, at the end of the day, it depends on which you go for now. There are different for charge mods as well. But yeah, that is all of our mods today. That is the John Deere and the Honda Pack by Gorshine X, sorry. But yeah, so that is all the mods today. Again, yeah, not many, but considering that we had so many mods yesterday now, like yeah, that video got went up for me today now, as of recording this. But yeah, so that's all the mods today, as always. Hope you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider. But for you to do, Hope you're stay, but for now, it's me Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.